Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel! So today I'll be doing a hair tutorial by using a 32mm hair curling iron. This is what I usually do when I have a lot of time to get ready. Let's shall get to it. Let's go! Let's get to it! Anyway, so before you start, obviously you need a hair curling iron And then comb, just a comb And this is an optional one if you have it Roller, a few rollers If you have the small one, <gasps> if you have the smaller one, that's even better But before that, we are going to get a heat protectant spray Before we do anything Okay, so what I would usually do is I would put my hair into half or like nose four sections basically but if you don't have a clip you use a rubber band and then tie it into halfway if you have a clip just use a clip so we're gonna do the bottom remember to always heat it up first before you use it and if your hair is bleached like mine don't use a very high heat I'm using like about 180 160 here today I need to wait I forgot about it okay so get a small strand Remember to always follow the direction and then you turn it. Okay. Alright, and then you show it to the back. And then you can do the opposite direction as well. So you clip it in. And then turn, hold it, come out, turn it again, hold for a little bit, come out, and then at the end, kind of like don't let go completely, and then let go, and then throw it to the back, this is the last one. I'm gonna do the other side So I'm gonna try again So grab a little bit So we do it outside first Turn it And then let it go Let's imagine I'm going out tonight Which I am not actually so. Yeah, I'm with you guys Melbourne people Remember to take care of yourselves Don't get sick uh Oh, this is what happens when you don't focus So there's still a little bit at the end, right? You just like, yep And then just rolled it A little bit That's it and Then one more Oops how it looks like at the bottom so if you're still a beginner i would recommend you to kind of like tie the ones that you have already done lightly maybe just like two rounds so that you don't get confused and another thing i forgot to do if you have fridge you can put your roller first so get about this much of hair and then get a roller this one i don't know what size it is but it's like around this size you kind of just roll it Remember the hair here will always fall, so just make sure you collect them And then, just roll them And let it be Ta -da! Yeah. Middle section So about this much This if you have a lot of hair, you have like a lot, a lot of hair, then you can do like a lot more sections So if you have time, that's what you can do Usually if you want it to be a bit more lasting You just get very little So you don't use, you don't take a very big strand Because if not, the curls will be much bigger Depending on what type of size you like So this is the size that I would go for Like a smaller curl So you turn it This is one way to do it Okay, so what you can do is you roll everything in Right? And then you cut open that one by one Okay, and then you come out So this is the type of curl that I like And this one, you can curl inwards So put it in 
Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Come out. Pull again. Turn it a little bit. Pull again. And then turn it in like that. So you turn. Turn, turn, turn. Come out. And then this is another way. Yeah. So if the bottom is not curled, you just take it and then just curl it inwards. So this is how it looks like. Ta da! Small one. And fast forward this one. So, get the rubber band. If you don't want to lose them or miss anything, you just tie it up one round, two rounds. And then this is the last one. So, you put it in. Then you turn it. And then you pull it out there. Then you turn again one more round. And then you turn again. So here you can wave one, two, three. Come out one. And then you pull again. Just follow the curl. And then you turn and come out. And then here. And then. This is like a skill that I learned by watching. So you can replay it again if you want to. And then come out. Right? This is how it looks like. This one we're gonna do inwards. Turn. So one, two, three. One. Come out. Two. Pull a bit. Turn a little bit. Come out. This one can be either one strand or two strand. If you have no time, do one. If you have time, do two. Okay, because this is near your fringe, I always do outwards. There, let it go. So it looks like so. There's the fringe again. Okay, put it in this position, and then you put your hair in, and then you make sure you put it back straight away. If not, you will cause crease, and then turn it, turn it. Turn it up. Okay, anyway, then you pull it out because it doesn't uh, hold it well, so it needs to be very slow. And then you slowly unwind it. It looks like that. Ta-da! So you pull out the back, and then you try to brush through your hair. This is how you would usually do it. So what you can do is, because it looks very flat here, you can take one strand. And then this is the one that you make it really, really tight. So you just... Right? And then, you just pull it, pull it, pull it. And now we'll have that extra. And I can take one more here. Usually it's very small strands. Just to give it a little bit of pop. pull it brush it along then do it from the for the other side so so I'm gonna do the fringe now if you have a roller so just pull it it will look like that and we're done just okay. kidding so sometimes when you have the roller you can blow with the hair dryer turn it off Leave it for about 3 seconds and then you take it out Or what you can do is Just curl it lightly at this side here If you want to give your fringe a little bit more volume Just take a little bit of the front Get a slightly small roller And then Roll it Roll it fully yeah. 
One, two, three. I look like some crazy person. Anyway, pull it up, and then it will be better. Ooh. So I'm gonna show you guys how to volumize your hair. If I already did this side, so you might see a little bit that it went up a little bit. So we start from the side. So what I do is, from, it starts from the bottom here. So get a bit of your hair. Then you put it in, but you need to push it up a little bit. Get a hair dryer. And then you leave it on for like about a few seconds, and then you let it out. The smaller the brush, the better. But this is what I have. Do it slowly, layer by layer. Or if you don't want to like put in put out, you just push it in, push out a little bit, hold it there, let it go. It's one way. You can do this as well for the top. Hold it. Usually you can just put it here and then do that. So you can see it's a little bit better. Usually by this time you have four a little bit, so so you can just take one strand and just do it again. Little more. Okay, so last thing if you want to look fabulous with really voluminous hair so two hands you put it to the back kind of like brush it up <clears throat> halfway and then you push it to the front that's it so before you finish it remember to put your hair oil a spray maybe not put too much if not you will bring it down just give it a little bit of shine and oil Make a spray and that kind of stuff, and then we'll do that again. Woo! So yeah, that's all for today. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and remember to comment down below and give me some other suggestions what else you guys would like to see. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha